What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just another quick training guide that we're going to be taking a look at here, right? So Nesta is next up. We already did Roberto Carlos here. If you missed that video, check it out. We go into a lot of detail. Three ultimate versions of Roberto Carlos. You've got a left back, a left wing back and then a DMF, which is completely overpowered, right? So not a player that everyone will be able to use, but a beast if you can master him. Nesta is a very, very easy player to build up. The one decision you have to make with Nesta is whether you want to max out his defensive awareness and tackling. It doesn't stack that well with aggression and defensive engagement, but you can also either decide to have him just as a complete defensive option with no acceleration or no speed, or else you can make him a very mobile kind of player, which is very, like very overpowered you know especially with the player skills that he has we're going to show you why in a second because he does have um man marking interception blocker area superiority and acrobatic clearance but he also has one touch pass and fighting spirit which is incredible and it means that you can actually play him a little bit more aggressively as a destroyer right that is something that you should definitely keep an eye on because you know you mightn't think of Nesta as kind of a fast player, but with this car, because he's getting a boost to acceleration, you can train him in two different ways, right? So let's crack on with it here over on eFootball DB. All right, so the first build that we're going to look at is a speed and versatility style Nesta. So this guy is down as a destroyer. As we said in the last video, lads, they're still updating eFootball DB. Um, I have asked them and they said that they're working on a lot of new improvements for it and for the mobile as well. So I'll keep you up to date with that. Uh, because there does need to be a lot of changes for it with the new system, the new boosters, all of that will be implemented, right? Um, so for now, just take this as a rough guide and the player overalls and stuff are going to be much higher in game. But this is a very versatile Nesta who, with the player skills that he has and the booster, is going to be absolutely insane. Yes, you are like lacking a little bit of defense. We'll get to that other build in a second. But you have 11 into dexterity, 8 into lower body strength, 1 into aerial strength, and then the rest 10 into defendant right so that is going to give you a card that is going to be very 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 solid and especially with the new pace with the way that the game has if somebody's coming up against you you usually do need to have two fast center backs or at least two of your back four or else three of your back three if you're playing it that need to be at least 78 to 80 acceleration that's how i've kind of found the gameplay if you are struggling you need to be very kind of conscious of leaving gaps on the pitch you know unless they patch it which i hope they don't because the defending is so manual so this is a very versatile defender in nesta you're also going to be getting the boost to acceleration and jump and of course defensive awareness and tackling so you're going to be over the 95 threshold on awareness and tackling and then the acceleration and the jump is going to be around the 82 and the 76 mark so it's probably not the best version of him i usually think you know don't try and make somebody kind of a different player than he is but i'll show you why nest is kind of caught a little bit because of the way he stacks up with the second build which is this so when we talk about nesta we think of him as just one of the most dominant center backs of all time him and maldini obviously always share that spotlight at ac milan and italy absolute beast now i always think of nesta as kind of just like a, a more kind of you know defensive kind of thinking with his brain style defender right whereas Maldini when he was a bit younger he was just a beast he was fast he was quick he was elusive he could play full back whereas Nesta is just an outright throwback center back right and this is pure defender prime Nesta so all we're doing here very simply is max now his defending max now his aerial strength and then of course popping six into goalkeeper one to get that jump stat up as high as we can now remember he's also going to be getting a boost to his jump the biggest problem with Nesta's card, lads, is when you go past 13 on the defending, you're going to be losing that booster boost because the defensive awareness and tackling, even though it can go over 101, I haven't really seen a massive difference between a stat that's like 99 and 100 or 101, right? So technically, you could pop this down a little bit and add 4 into dexterity, which would bring it to 75 with the boost. That's something that you might want to keep a look, keep an eye on if if you are struggling to you know defend. But I do think that this is a very good build to have if you're looking for a pure defender. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this. And as I said, the eFootball DB boys will be updating this uh, website and the mobile app. So any feedback that you have, send it in to me, and I'll get it on to them. I know that they're trying to change it a lot with the new systems and new boosters and new stat layouts and the removal of the team play style proficiency, all that. So let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you want to see any more training guides. You know what we do here. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.